Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome, biggity, 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 back, y'all, to my kitchen. If you guys are new here, hi. My name is Kelsey, and I'm here for you guys every Sunday and Wednesday, sometimes less, sometimes more, to talk about my BSG journey. through these videos you're able to find the answers you've been looking for to questions you can't seem to find or make the path to choosing surgical weight loss that much easier i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and welcome back to my kitchen um, i did want to come to you guys today and make a nice little sweet treat with you the summer is here the days are hot and all of that jazz and I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but your girl loves a good ice cream. Love, 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 love. But being on our new path, it's hard to find ice cream that doesn't, number one, make you dump. Number two, upset your stomach. Number three, make you have a really high unnecessary carb count and calorie count for nothing. So I was on the internet scouring and I found a video by Low Carb Love that is for a keto ice cream. So I took all the ingredients and I forwarded them to my nutritionist and I said, hey, is this okay for bariatric patients? And she said, yes. So I did wanna come and share that little quick recipe with you guys for Tasty Thursday. And hopefully you guys will be able to Make it and it tastes good. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video, but before we do, we are gonna talk about today. I did have the sponsor. absolute pleasure of a teaming with Teamy again, or partnering with Teamy again, and they sent me this beautiful, 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 delicious tea. Now, as you guys know, there are so many different things we struggle with as a bariatric patient, and finding ways to get our hydration in is key. And so for me, I've been kind of experimenting with fruit and flavored water and water enhancers. Well, I stumbled upon this delicious recipe from Teamy, and this is their Teamy Refresh Tea. The ingredients of this, just listen to this, y'all. Listen, dried mango, dried strawberry, mint tea, and pink rose. I did want to give you guys a close-up look at this beautiful tea mix it is so amazing look at the small pink roses there's the dried mango and there's of, of course the mint tea mix y'all i'm all about spiritual baths as well this could double as a spiritual bath add-in i don't know if you guys are into that but adding this to your bath the properties that these have and it's food grade y'all this is a fantastic tea. I love it. It's energizing. It's refreshing. And it's not too heavy on my stomach. I absolutely love it. It kind of makes me feel like I'm drinking a nice hot coffee in the morning. You can actually add some heavy whipping cream to it as well. and Or maybe whip it up, whip up the heavy whipping cream. And I think it would be perfect. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tea mix. If you guys haven't you know, give it a try. Or if you want to, give it a try. I think you really would like it. As you guys see, I'm definitely a tea drinker. I love tea. Tea has always been one of my things. That's probably my favorite. Oh my gosh. Look, when I read it, I was like, this is going to be so good. And it is. So one thing about Teamy, in their beautiful tumblers that you can get on their website, they come with this really awesome tea filter. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a little demonstration. I have some tea already prepped up here for you and so the thing about teamy on the back it says a teamy tip our premium tea is made from the highest quality and quality ingredients around the world don't waste the goodness you can brew three cups of tea by using the same leaves simply by adding more hot water that is so cool to me because i didn't want to waste you know my tea stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and put my tea um, mixture in here and I'm gonna add in some hot water and we're gonna allow this to brew while we're making our ice cream. And I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. 
um, and then give you guys a taste test towards the end, okay? I had to put on a, a, a oven mitt because my water is so hot, but we're gonna go ahead and continue filling this up and just listen to my Keurig over there. And allow, whoop, and allow this to steep. All right, so we filled up our teamy cup with our hot water. I like to put the lid on. And like while I'm getting ready in the morning, I just let it sit off to the side and it continue to steep. So we're just gonna sit that over there and we're gonna get into our. So the first thing we're gonna talk is ingredients. It is a simple three ingredient ice cream. Now, mine is gonna be four ingredients and yours could be more, just depending on. Um, on the recipe that um, I did see on the video, she had so many different options. I think she had three options, a vanilla, a peanut butter, and a chocolate. I'm just a big fan of plain chocolate with a little bit of crunch added to it, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So, the number one ingredient you're gonna need is one cup of heavy whipping cream. You don't want, whoops, you don't want half and half. You don't want, um, what is it, light whipping cream or whatever it is. It has to be heavy whipping cream. Then you're gonna need a powdered um, sugar substitute. I like to use Splenda. Some people on the keto diet are not fans of Splenda, but you know, I say, you say, whatever say. Um, and then you're going to need a, I did about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. You can put in, you know, caramel or butter extract, depending on what you're making. It's completely up to you, but this is just a simple homemade vanilla taste that we're going. Now, for me, I am going to be going to be adding in that crunch that I miss, mentioned, and I'm going to be using Lily's sugar-free chocolate chips. You can get them from Kroger, Walmart, wherever. And you're going to need about a fourth a cup of those to add into your mix. And then last but not least, this is definitely up to preference. I like for my ice cream to have a little bit of a salt, but I don't want it to be overbearing or noticeable. Something about salt, adding it to something sweet, it kind of like manipulates the flavor and gives it a rich, creamy, hearty taste. So I'm gonna be using my stand mixer. You're completely welcome to do the, you know, the traditional mason jar um, way where you shake it. It works the same way. This just does it quicker. And so if you do use your stand mixer, throw your bowl in the freezer. Um, it will help to whip up your heavy whipping cream quicker. So we're gonna pop our bowl on here. Let me scoop this back for y'all. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take our heavy whipping cream and our granulated sweetener, and we are going to, I am making a mess. And we are going to mix that up. We're gonna whip it up. So that's what she says on low carb love, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna whip it up. Whip it, whip it, whip it. Once again, it's just heavy whipping cream and Splenda. So now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna check your whipped mixture to see if it has a stiff peak consistency. And look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so good. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our vanilla and whip it for about 20 seconds more. It smells so good. So I am going to go in and scrape down the sides and give it one final mix. I'm excited about this. Oh my God. While I'm doing my final mix, I'm going to go in with the ever so smallest pinch of salt. And this is the pink flaky salt. And just add it in. I don't want my ice cream salty. But I wanted to have a little bit of salt. All right. I think we are good to go. Let me. 
that tad bit of salt offsets the sweet in such an interesting way. And I think I think it gives it the same flavor of like a what is it a uh, what is it? I can't even remember. The popcorn, the sweet and savory kettle corn. Jeez. Okay. So this is the consistency of our ice cream. Look at that. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna go, and like I said, at this point you can add in whatever else you want. Um, this is just a vanilla base. Low carb love, she did make, I can't stop eating it. She did make a, a chocolate and a peanut butter. I'm just gonna add in my chocolate chips and I'm gonna fold those in because I like that little bit of crunch in my ice cream. Don't want it to give it too much of a stir. All right, and let's see how we're doing. All right, so now you're gonna put it into a receptacle. Um, you can choose to put this in a mason jar. That's what Low Carb Love did. Um, I'm just doing this really cute plastic container um, that I can scoop it out. I hope all of this will fit in there. It looks like it will, but if it doesn't, it still be okay. Oh yeah, it's all gonna fit. Get all of that goodness into this bowl. And then we're gonna pop it in the freezer. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later on after it's gotten nice and stiff. Er, um, how it pans out. Don't be like me. I'm gonna spend your entire time eating what you make. Oh. Oh my god. So I'm gonna get that a good smush down in there. A good lick. And I'm going to put it in the freezer. Put the top on. Put it in the freezer and we'll come back a little later. Right, so we finished our ice cream. And now I wanted to give you guys a look at this delicious refreshed tea. Now you can let it steep for longer. It just depends on your flavor preference. Typically, by the time I get to work, it's perfect. Like, it, it's just right. So, now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the um, this, this strainer. Technically, I think this is maybe meant for um, fruit infusion. But I use it for the steeping because it just works. It works for me. Um, Kimmy, don't kill me. <laughs> um, but I have found a love for it. I don't add any sweetener, but they do have a, a liquid stevia or a liquid allulose that you can drop in there. You can add in a little bit of just, you know, powdered Splenda, whatever you want. I like unsweetened tea and this is fine with me. So I'm really excited to try this with you guys. I've drank it so many times, but I feel like each time the flavor profile is different. So, oh. That's so good. It has a nice, sweet, but not too sweet taste. The mint is refreshing. And I don't know if you guys have eaten like a rose macaron or anything that's flavored with rose. Rose has such a subtle and yet very robust flavor. You can definitely taste rose. If you guys are interested in trying anything from TV, whether it be facial care, um, the protein powder that I had in the last Tasty Thursday, or this delicious refreshed tea, please make sure to go to teamyblends.com. My code Kelsey20 for 20% off of a $29 minimum. All right, y'all. So it's been about 45 minutes, and our ice cream has had some time to stiffen up. So let's get in it. Do it. Oh, get into it. Well, I guess got a regular old ice cream scoop here. And I'm gonna scoop this out. Not too hard. Okay. Okay. I see you, low carb love. Look at that. Look at how it scoops up. I don't have a spoon handy, but I do have a fork. So let's give this a good old taste. Mmm. 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 
Mm. Listen, this is absolutely deep freaking licious. Give us another go. Mm. This is what I'm talking about, low carb love. Mm. It's light, it's fluffy. The chocolate is such a perfect offset to the light and fluffy. Mm. 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 I hope you guys try. Let me know if you do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really, really, really am so excited to be able to have my ice cream on a hot, hot day when everyone else is eating whatever confections that they have and I can actually join in now. If you guys like the recipe and are gonna use it or make it or whatever, make sure to send me, tag me in a photo on Instagram. I would love to see them. If you would like to and you have not, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, let me know that you are liking the content. It lets me know that you're feeling me. Come on in for the hug. I would love to have you be a part of my family. Mm -mm. Thank you so much for being here with me in my kitchen. Thank you again to Timmy for partnering with me on this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.